I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in Atlanta for REIT World 2014, near REIT's annual convention for all things REIT. Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is Tom Nolan, the Chairman and CEO of Spirit Realty Capital. Tom, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Good to be here. Now, this has been an active year for your company in terms of acquisitions. What's fueled that transaction activity, and do you expect to be as active heading into 2015? It has been active, uh, and it, it's, it's an excellent market environment. I mean, it, from our standpoint, we invest in triple net properties. We invest in them to create shareholder value. We want to uh, create durable cash flows going forward. And at the, this time, between the, uh, the attractive capital markets and the attractive uh, property markets, it's a bit of a Goldilocks kind of uh, scenario where we're a spread investing organization and those spreads are, are pretty high by uh, historical standards. So we see excellent uh, opportunity to add shareholder value. And secondly, can you talk about the sale leaseback market and why that's such a compelling option in the current market, both for you and for the customer? For the customer, it uh, we're both looking for the same thing, just on opposite sides of the equation. We're looking for durable cash flows. They're looking for consistency in, in expenses and costs. We tend to do a sale, we might do a sale lease back with a franchise owner, for example. They want consistency, they want their location, they want to own it for a long time. We want the durable cash flow. And uh, there's been a fair amount of activism, too, in, in the, uh, much of these companies where they realize that their property is not their highest and best use for their company. So they have a desire to, to, to lay that property off their balance sheet for a long period of time. We're the recipient of those, uh, of those steady, growing cash flows over time. So it's a win-win, really. And lastly, as you look out at 2015, what looms as the biggest potential game changer, either positive or negative, for your company? Well, seeing how I, uh, when we talk about spirit, what we talk about is predictable cash flows and consistency and quarter over quarter performance that people can rely on. So I'm actually not looking for game changers. And, and I think the good news is I don't, we don't need game changers. I, I think we're in a good economic en environment in terms of uh, the overall economy. Certainly uh, capital costs have been low. Those could change over time, but uh, right now th there doesn't need to be a game changer, and I'm not expecting that there that there needs to, that there will be one. Great, Tom. Thank you so much for your insights. You're welcome. Happy to be here. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.